Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. As you see the title of the video, this video is going to be about the story of how my dog died of parvovirus. I kind of wanted to make this video so that people out there can save that save your dog from this and some things that I missed or I should have taken care of ahead before in order to save my puppy. I hope this video helps. So let's get started. I had two German Shepherd puppies, one male and a female. So they were about three months in the month of March. They were born on December 11 of 2019 and it was during the month of March. So we generally get our dogs vaccines done on time but this particular time period of time what happened was it was COVID-19. There were uh, serious strict rules given by government asking to close everything. So was our veterinary hospital closed. So my dog's uh, third vaccine was due for March 23rd of 2020 and we tend to miss that particular vaccine. Uh, since it was pandemic situation, even did, we did not pay much attention about uh, vaccines. Uh, it somehow skip out, skipped out of our mind. Uh, right after 10 days, I get to see one of my dog uh, one fine day. Uh, he seems to look dull. He, his uh, normal activity has reduced to zero and uh, he sleeps a lot or uh, maybe kind of he was even a little warm, kind of feverish. Uh, Looking at that, I, I just thought maybe it was a normal flu or stomach upset or something like that because I've also seen him vomiting and all. So first symptom that I found uh, in him was uh, his physical activity was low. He, was, uh, he seems to look very dull. And then I found him uh, vomiting. Uh, I, I did not pay much attention. We thought that it must be like a normal stomach upset or uh, just a normal flu which will go away in a day or two. So anyway, I have still called my veterinary doctor who, whom we regularly visit and asked him if he is going to open the clinic. He said that since it's a pandemic situation and he ages above 60 years, he said that he cannot open the veterinary doctor. Uh, at that point of time, I, I couldn't do anything because the very uh, most commonly visited veterinary hospitals or everything was closed. Then I get to see my dog uh, uh, doing diarrhea and uh, the diarrhea seemed to look very, uh, it has got very strong and bad smell. Uh, I cannot really explain how the smell was but it was really very strong and bad. So the third symptom I've seen in him was uh, doing diarrhea. Then I immediately called my veterinary hospital and asked him to uh, give me some medicine so that I can give it to him and uh, he would be fine. Uh, he did give me a medicine and uh, thereafter I have given that medicine to my pet and uh, gave him some bland food like curd rice or something but uh, he still refuses to eat. I have Since he's not doing well, I have decided him to keep him in my room to you know just have a look if he's keeping fine or if his health is getting worse or something like that. And during that night, uh, the whole night, uh, I have seen him doing blood motions. Initially, it was pinkish in color, but after like a two or three uh, diarrhea, I have seen the clear blood, red color blood in his diarrhea. And really, it has got a very bad smell. Uh, the whole room starts stinking and the smell was so strong. Early in the morning, immediately I called my veterinary doctor and asked him what it, uh, I explained him the complete situation. So I asked him what it might be and asked him to give me some medicine so that I can give it to my dog uh, in order to, you know, make him feel better or something. He, said, he immediately said it might be parvovirus. The symptoms that you are saying uh, looks like that. He, uh, he gave me some medicine and asked me to feed my dog with a coconut water. Thereafter, I've given the medicine and uh, gave him the coconut water, but my dog refuses to eat food, nor he drinks the coconut water. He was just like that, and um, the situation was getting even more worse. I have tried for many other options, like uh, uh, online consultation, where the 
veterinary doctors will come home and treat your dog but since our uh, location was in red zone even that didn't help they couldn't come to our area or to my place because uh, because of the strict rules by the government after doing a lot of research finally me and my brother found one hospital where the veterinary doctor was available even though it was a bit far from my place we took our dog to that hospital and uh, i told him the all the symptoms about his condition the blood motions and everything else in spite of me telling all these things the doctor did not guess that it was parvo he gave medicine for his regular treatment he gave some injections so that uh, the diarrhea and vomiting stop and he also gave some injection for fever to reduce and um, i asked him whether it was parvo he looked at our vaccination book and said that maybe not because he is vaccinated we took him back to home 5 to 6 hours till up to 5 to 6 hours my dog was keeping okay he stopped vomiting or the diarrhea was okay he was not going for diarrhea but still he refused to eat food he does not eat anything and uh, the condition is still same we anyways try to force feed him force feed him through his mouth by giving him some uh, you know bland food but it's of it's a, it was of no use then again it was night in the night i have uh, seen him again doing blood motions and vomitings uh, he kind of became very weak for a moment he looked like a dead dog he wasn't moving he was just getting up to do the motion or to warm it it was so terrible to see your dog suffer i was in a situation that i couldn't do anything and so all through that day uh, my dog has suffered again with the blood motions and vomitings and the next day we immediately called the veterinary doctor and said that the medicines were of no use i told him the situation was getting worse he was still going with the blood motions and all that stuff he said that then let's we ha- we have to keep him on cell lines please get him to the veterinary hospital by 1 pm in the afternoon so uh, by the time i was getting ready and getting uh to the hospital uh, meanwhile i've seen that my dog has lost his breath and he was no more with us it's seriously a terrible and a and a very bad situation to look your dog suffer even before my dog died he looked like a dead dog and that scared me even more and my next worry was this virus was very contagious that it can easily spread to the other dog i had three other dogs in a house in my house and i was very much scared and worried that i will lose my other dogs as well but thankfully i have protected the other dogs from this deadly virus things that i missed i think the first thing that i missed uh, was to not get my dog vaccinated uh, I know I shouldn't give any excuses or reasons for not getting it vaccinated but the pandemic situation has completely made me helpless. The second thing I think is uh, not getting veterinary help or medical help as soon as possible or to identify that it was parvovirus and getting treated for it. The third thing is the doctor suggested me to get my dog uh drink the coconut water but unfortunately i didn't knew any tips how to make it drink i should have uh, done injected like uh, i should have get my dog force feed the coconut water with the help of injection but i didn't do that i think these things have added on and uh, i have lost my pet I'm making this video so that the other pet owners or dogs should not go through this situation and I'll be sharing some tips important tips to save your dog from parvovirus and also protect your other dogs from parvovirus so consider subscribing to my channel I hope this video was little helpful and uh, this video is made in remembrance of Frodo my pet who has lost fighting parvovirus I just hope other dogs don't go through this. Consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.